Major budget cuts are coming to New York City agencies. Mayor Adams unveiled details today, including cuts to the NYPD that will drop the number of police officers patrolling the streets to the lowest number since the 1990s. Also, fewer litter baskets on street corners and fewer resources for cleaning up vacant lots and greenways. Cuts to education programs, including pre-K and 3K, and more cuts. And tonight we're hearing from New Yorkers about how these cuts could impact the quality of life. CBS 2's Lisa Rosner on the Upper East Side with this part of the story. Lisa? Well, Dana and Dick, many New Yorkers we spoke to are disappointed by the cuts, concerned about safety and cleanliness. And as you mentioned, there will be fewer litter baskets on the streets like this one here on 2nd Avenue and 86th Street. You can see even with it here, there is still trash on the street. It used to be cleaner. I think it's terrible. New Yorkers and tourists alike told us they've noticed more trash in the city and it's likely about to get worse. A $5.5 million cut to sanitation means there will be fewer litter baskets. And it's not just concerns about a dirty city, but a potentially dangerous one. Also being cut, the next five classes at the police academy. Nobody wants the cops to do anything and, and now you're going to cut them more. The number of officers is expected to drop by around 5,000 from nearly 34,000 to 29,000 in the fiscal year that starts next July. The Police Benevolent Association president saying in part, this is truly a disaster. Cops are already stretched to our breaking point and these cuts will return us to staffing levels we haven't seen since the crime epidemic of the 80s and 90s. We cannot go back there. We will work with the police in Times Square to make sure that we stay safe. The president of the Times Square Alliance says there is private security that works closely with cops, as well as an 80 person sanitation team that will keep the area clean. For people who frequent libraries, they will no longer be open Sundays. The new schedule takes effect at some locations next Sunday. It is a disservice to the students and them having some place to go to study. The mayor has warned these cuts would be coming because of the growing cost of the asylum seeker crisis. Right to shelter! Right to shelter! At a sit-in outside Gracie Mansion Thursday, immigration advocates said the mayor is scapegoating asylum seekers, claiming that by expanding access to city vouchers, the cost of housing families would drop from $394 a night to $72 a night. Every day I live in constant uncertainty about where and when we'll find our next place to live. The mayor says with all of this, there actually will be no increase in taxes, but all departments should be prepared to have to see a 5% reduction again in their budgets at least twice within the next six months. That is because he says they have a $7 billion budget gap to close in the next fiscal year. On the Upper East Side, Lisa Rosner, CBS 2 News.